Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Welcome to Window Clean Resource. Today we're going to talk about how to clean a double hung window and some tips. So first thing you want to do when cleaning a double hung window is of course take the screen out. A putty knife is a great tool to have to remove the screen from the outside. If you're going to remove it from the inside, bring up the window, pull on these tabs and lightly push out. If you're going to take it off from the outside, lightly push your finger up in there. There's two kind of springs right here that allow the screen to go up. Put the putty knife down here and pop out. That'll get your screen out. Choose whatever method you choose with those to clean. The next step is you always want to start on the inside with double humps. So let's go. So the reason why we always want to start inside with double hungs, especially with older windows, is that sometimes when you clean the top, if this seal isn't good or the locks don't work right, you can get a drip right in this crack and it'll come outside. So if you do the outside and you come in, that happens, you have to redo the outside. So I suggest just starting in here. Um, one other tip with double hung windows, say you're on a second story or even first story, and there's just so many things like a big tree or something where you cannot get to the outside of it. And so what you want to do with that is that there are two clips. So there's that clip and there's also a clip here on the other side. And what you want to do with this clip is you just want to click it out, both of them, like that. So then you're going to unlock the window, of course, you're gonna bring it up. Those two clips are gonna catch the uh, springs that are on the side here that keep the window um, going up and down. Bring it up, out. One of the sides you'll have a gap on. That's the side that you're gonna bring the window out on. So, just like that. And then, you could clean the outside and inside like that. And then you could also reach out the window, clean the outside, or use a pole. Always be really safe when doing this method. Um, sometimes a double hung the top one can be really big. So just be really careful and really safe when, when choosing to do this method. So to put it in, back in, same way that we took it out. Make sure you get your line string. So you're going to rest it above these plastic clips, the, plastic, the white plastic clips on the bottom of those springs. You're just going to let it set and then it will be on there and just make sure you click back those things that are in there. So I always with double hungs uh, scrub the bottom first where the most amount of water is on my sleeve and then do the top. If you need to use bronze wool or, or a razor to razor off something, do that. I do not have a squeegee on me. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so if you forgot your squeegee, you can come back and re-wet the window. Be careful, you're always catching your drips. Uh, maybe inside the house, use a drop. That's my house. Yeah. Use a drop cloth. So, squeegee the top. Usually you can do both of these at one time without cleaning the middle area here. But some double hung windows have kind of a slant here and you'll get drips if you don't do this part in between. And just get the majority of a large amount of water up there cleaned off. Squeegee the bottom window. So. Clean off that ledge. Just detail our glass. If your customer would like you to clean the tracks, one of the best times to do that is if you have the window popped off. What I do for tracks is, you'll see this track is not dirty really at all, except for a little bit of dirt in the corner. But a good tip is just take the tip of your mop. If they're not too bad, like they're kind of just dusty and the customer wants them cleaned out. If there's a lot of dirt in there, you're gonna have to get a vacuum you're gonna to have to get something to really um, move that dirt out and get in the vacuum and then wet it down and clean it out. And just use 
your big bath towel if you've got one to kind of clear that out or an extra towel that you might be carrying on you just for tracks. Okay, so the inside is done. Once again here, I scrub the bottom first because that's where the most that's where the most water is on my mop and I'm gonna do that window second. And then I'm gonna scrub up here. I always try to scrub both windows at one time, just saving the time of moving your tools in and out of your belt. Squeegee the top. Squeegee your bottom window. Clean out the, this track right here will usually be the screen track. Clean that out as well. Won't really be seen by the customer, but it's a good thing to do for the next time when you come back to clean the windows. Detail your glass. It's always smart to detail, even with um, like a mulling and liquidator, because you're still gonna have dirt around these frames. So that's why it's just good, just as good practice to get used to detailing. Um, if you're really trying to achieve that non-detailed uh, motion, um, I would just encourage you, you're at least gonna have to wipe down these, so you might as well wipe that edge of that window too, just make sure everything is perfect. By now you'll probably have your clean screens, however you choose to do those. Pop the screen back in. Just like that. And that's how to clean a double hung window with a squeegee with some tips and tricks for you. Thank you for watching and remember to check back on Window Cleaning Resources YouTube channel for more videos from all your favorite YouTube window cleaners. Peace.